NASA will launch rockets from a remote base in northeast Arnhem Land later this month. Live now to Matt Cunningham, who's in Darwin for us. Matt, just talk us through why they've chosen that location. How will it all work? Well, it might seem like an unlikely uh, location, Ash. Uh, having been out there a few times, I can tell you it's a very remote part of the Northern Territory. It's on Gumach country at Gulkila, which is about 40 kilometres from the nearest town of Nulumboy uh, on the Gove Peninsula in northeast Arnhem Land. But Russell Shaw from Equatorial Launch Australia, he was at this news conference this morning with the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, and the Northern Territory's Chief Minister, Natasha Files, and he explained exactly why they have chosen this location. The Arnhem Space Centre is ideally situated uh, just south of the equator and in a remote location and is suitable for all kinds of orbits into space. It's also further bolstered by the fact that we have a very political, politically stable geopolitical environment. Mr a uh, Albanese has announced today that there will be three rocket launches that will take place beginning on the 26th of June and running until the 12th of July. Now this is all part of a partnership between the Federal and Northern Territory governments, NASA, Equatorial Launch Australia and the Gumach Corporation, the local Indigenous clan there, uh, headed by the former Australian of the Year, uh, Gulleroy Unipingu. Here's uh, Mr Albanese announcing exactly what these rockets will be doing. These three launches uh, are important, therefore, universities to do uh, scientific research. Uh, these rockets will go some 250 kilometres uh, north into, well, up into the sky to collect data on the physics of the sun and its relationship with the Earth. This is an incredibly exciting project, Ash. It's been years in the making. It's one that is importantly providing about 35 full-time jobs uh, for local Yongu people in northeast Arnhem Land. Uh, we're now just about three weeks away until the first launch of those rockets. Matt Cunningham, thank you for that. And we will be speaking with the CEO of that company who you heard from earlier. Uh, a bit later in the program, in about 20 minutes' time, so we'll hear more about the project. It sounds fascinating.